happy Sunday and happy game day. The countdown to tip off is on so many of us looking forward to this day. Iowa hoping to take home that national championship title when they play the undefeated Gamecocks today. KCC has Alex Sachs is live in Cleveland for us this morning. She's been following the team and fans for days now. So Alex, how's the atmosphere going this morning? <laughs> Today is the day. It is bright and early here in Cleveland. Let's talk about this team. They are so ready for today. They've played impressively all season long. And let's talk about the offense first. They have been unstoppable throughout the season, recording 90 plus points in 15 out of the last 20 games. The Hawkeyes are led by superstar Caitlin Clark. This season, the West Des Moines native is averaging a whopping 32 points per game. And Clark's also got three 40 point double doubles in her bag from NCAA tournament play from the past two seasons. She's experienced going into this now in her senior year and over the last 25 seasons, no one has recorded more than 30 plus point games in men's or women's college basketball than Clark. But the Hawks have proved it's a team effort to get this far. Fifth year guard Kate Martin is having a career high season with 15 plus points in 17 games and what a last game for her playing through a bloody nose and all. And since senior Molly Davis's injury, Sydney has really really stepped up in her shooting game since taking over. She's 10 for 16 from the three point line and 26 of 29 from the stripe. She also played out of her mind on Monday. Now let's talk about South Carolina. They are very talented. A lot of Hawkeye fans saw them play first in the final four and they are undefeated. They've made a lot of history, this team, record-breaking 37 wins in a row. And they're led by Camilla Cardosa, who dropped 22 points in their win against NC State to advance to the finals. That was a whooping. She also leads the team in rebounds, averaging nine per game. They are very, very good, but so are our Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes heading into quite the height disadvantage as well today. The players say they're confident, though, and they're never going to back down from a challenge. Like you said, they're very tall, very big team. Um, I think we're going to mix up some things defensively, throw some different defenses at them, that it's going to be a hard-fought game and that it's going to, you know, take everything we've got. But um, we're looking forward to the challenge. I think, you know, we're going to focus on what we can control. We talk about that a lot. You know, we can't control our size. We can't control the refs. We can't control what the other team's going to do. But we can control our heart, our effort. And they have a lot of passion. The Hawkeye women have raked in a record breaking viewership numbers for the year. Their game against UConn caught the eyes of more than 14 million viewers. ESPN says that's the largest audience for any basketball game ever on their air, which is huge. And fans are soaking in this moment. Thousands of Hawkeye fans packed into the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And this is a giant arena. This was all for practice yesterday. This arena seats about 19,000, and look, it's filled to the brim. These fans sitting in the stands, soaking in this last practice before the championship. And for many, they don't have tickets to the championship game, so this really is their last chance to see the Hawkeyes in action with Caitlin Clark at the helm. And fans we spoke to tell us this is more than basketball. It's so exciting to see all women's basketball growing. We were at both games yesterday, and if you couldn't win or lose, it's the energy of being here. You wake up the next day, winning or losing, you're feeling good about yourself. You want to go and work harder, enjoy life. You know what I mean? The energy is just, you can't, you're just soaking it in. If you build it, they will come. That's the program the Hawkeyes have established over these last few years under head coach Bluter and with Clark at the helm leading them. Now let's talk about how you can watch this game. The Hawkeye women tip off against South Carolina for the national championship today. It's at 2 o'clock Iowa time, and you can watch that on ABC. Here at home, Hawkeye fans will be able to continue the party at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Incredible turnout for the Final Four. Can only imagine what today is going to look like. That arena is hosting another free watch party. Doors open at 1. And the Valair Ballroom in West Des Moines is also showing the game. Doors open there at 1 as well. Now make sure to stick around here on KCCI. We have a one hour special today. Road to the Final Four, the championship. It starts at 1 o'clock right here on KCCI.